welcome back, everybody. Now, uh, this is basically a reboot of what I've been, of the project I took care of before. Because, uh, everything kind of got screwed around. By the way, for any new viewers out there, this is Giraffe Dragon. Let's see here. Da 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 da. Heck, where's that stupid. There it is. Yeah, I'm good. Just call it Giraffe. Anyway, so I suppose a little bit of backstory about this game. This was my first ever RPG, or at least proper RPG. It was this and Emerald, and well, I still play both of them to this day. Though Emerald is probably gonna die out soon. Mail call. <laughs> ah, Perry Carry. One day, my friend. One day. Hey, bro! <laughs> hey, that rhymed. Hey, guys, I'm getting better at this! <laughs> I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? <laughs> now, let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I'm now on a holiday traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. Blah, 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 treasure. <laughs> so, basically... Since we skipped the prologue, I'll go ahead and explain explain everything. Peach found a magical treasure a treasure map that leads us to, to seven that'll lead us to seven locations in order to find these items known as crystal stars. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Well, this is a reboot. Let's do let's do good this time. And this time around, I'm actually going to be using Movie Maker to edit these videos, and so that means I can actually, that means that my videos are going to be of better quality for you guys, as well as meaning that I don't have to worry about, like, a whole bunch of nothing going on. By the way, a rogue's welcome. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town we've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Roadport. And, uh, sorry about the glare, guys. That's kind of what happens when you record on a phone in a, with, like, really dark setting. You see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. <sighs> Road part. Long time no see. It's been a while since I've fully completed this game. I did tell you all the sordid tales of Roadbot on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry, you say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you should be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. So, basically, this is, like, the second game where... I think this is, like, the second game where Mario's in a new land. So basically, this is like, nobody knows who he is. <laughs> oh, come off of you, Airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've been seeing, I've, I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the ask, so be a good girl and tell us what you know right now. Never, I don't have anything to say to you creeps. You. I suppose it wouldn't be right of a sassy little lass like you met with untimely demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to a fortress. I don't want to know what they do with their fortress, do I? It's just... Just bondage. Bondage everywhere. <laughs> like, I'd go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you. <laughs> Not likely. I'd rather take the mustachio idiot over here. Huh? <laughs> what did you think you're doing, chump? You think you could screw up my plans? Listen, I don't have anything to do with this. Yeah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bomb I don't want to know. What, I don't want to know what your crump -a bomb is. Basically, something that's really great about this game is the fact that you start off with all your basic commands that you spent like a good 30 minutes getting in the original game. Ah, screwed up. I'll just stick to regular gardening, I guess. 
Okay, there we go. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, so this guy has 5 HP. I didn't actually know that until until when I did that the first time. Okay, you got a couple of decent shots in. I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means it's go time! Look at how impressive this is! <laughs> Punish him! Like, dear god. I wonder how long this took to animate. <laughs> also, uh, here's a fun game. Take a shot every time you see, see like, this many characters on screen. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Where'd they go? Huh? You, Johnson! Did you see them? Did anyone? Huh, Johnson's a common name in this world. Good to know. Ugh, crud. They bolted. At least if we go in disguise, we can at least just call ourselves Johnson and somebody might believe us. <laughs> Uh, basically, like, she was kind of surprised that we, that we saved her, and, uh, DeviantArt fans, have a ball. So, uh, who are you? Wario? Wait, you mean, like, that famous guy? Wow! I can't believe I met you here! <laughs> like, I should just imagine her, she's like, cool! Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me, I already hate it here! The freaks and weirdos everywhere! It's nasty! I mean, I know this place is called Roport, so I, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure. Huh? Who, who that? <laughs> it's the <that> mob. <laughs> Basically, like, you know... Princess Peach, what? Wait, hold on, you If it isn't Master Mario... Pay attention to the background real quick. <laughs> we see a G-rated hit by the mob. <laughs> Stay down, bro. The boss sends his greetings. How the road takes, punk. Anyways. <laughs> so essentially it's just like, you know, confirming what we already should have figured out. Peach is missing. She's kidnapped. We don't know where she went. The worst may have happened. Um, Princess Peach. Did they mean, like, Princess Peach? Like, Peach the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? I don't know. I think there was one named Orange. <laughs> princess who always gets nabbed. <laughs> like, it's sad to, like, it's sad to say that the only reason people know of you is because of your royalty status and the fact that you're kidnapped a lot. Anyways, basically... Hooray! We have our first partner! Ten minutes into the game and we've already got him. Hooray! If this was the original Paper Mario, we would have already been, like, <laughs> facing off against Bowser the, for the first time and losing. <laughs> Basically, she's your information. She's sort of like your hint guide to this game, in, in a sense. She's like one half of your hint guide. The other half you get is, and it's completely optional later on in the game. Basically, she has just the basic jump ability like Mario does, and she can tattle enemies, which gives you information on them, on weaknesses, and, and so what. That's what it looks like. But first, we want to come over here. Freeze! You two, not another step. Don't you, don't come this way. It's a complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for her right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch! Not an inch, you hear? Now, uh, just so you know, you have to move. She'll never find it. Screech. Yeah, you idiot! You stepped on my poor content lens! Mm -mm. This is your fault, now I have to buy a new content lens! But you're gonna pay for it! Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy! Fine, if that's what you're planned, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new, co new contact lens. And she'll do just that. 
Okay, so now, a little, little something here. This is uh, this is basically just the basic info board. This is like the gossip board. Tour board between the Piyanta Syndicate and the Robo is heating up, apparently. Best stay indoors. So, yeah. <laughs> like, three minutes in, we see a hit from by the mob. A noose. <laughs> An information claim saying, yeah, this is a normal occurrence. By the way, if you look on the back of the board, you get access to the graffiti corner. I just saw the most beautiful, elegant princess in Robo Park. I think I'm smitten. Hodley's best custom. Oh no! Poor cuck. <laughs> this happens to him a lot. Now, uh, something I want to go ahead and mention is that there are these little collectibles all scattered all over the place called star pieces. You, you, there's about a hundred of them, and you use them to trade with, and use them to trade with a specific character that we'll encounter later, just a little bit later. Basically, she's just sort of giving you a tutorial on like save blocks and the like. <laughs> Oops, pardon me, sucker! Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you! Mario, you gotta wake up! That guy just stole half your coins! Yeah, the cuck just, just just ran off with, pawned off with half of our stuff. You see, people credit, like, Mustache Girl for, for doing that first? No, no. That wasn't your door did this first. <laughs> But hey, it's not like you made you're not it's not like you're best friends with this guy. Anyways, you come back over here and you cut and you find a little hideout. Oops! Uh, <laughs> fancy meeting you here! You're pretty damn persistent, buddy. What a pain! Fine, fine, okay? You got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. And then he just sort of tells us, like, don't come crying to me if you end up like glue if someone steals him. By the way, uh, interesting fact about this game. In the Japanese version of this game. There was a there was a chalk outline of a toe like right here, but they took it out for in the American version. Also, speaking of the noose, just so you guys, speaking of the noose, that's like you know a really important set piece, but no one ever seems to bring it up. It's almost as if nobody knows what it does. Like, what does it do? Does it like, like does it just like activate like a huge like prank convoluted prank or something like you know? Or something like, like, by the way, uh, first thing, another thing you would probably suggest doing is, back here, this is a little secret area that you won't see on your first time all that often. And, uh, now from here, come back over here, and we got a third, and we got, have ourselves a, a third star piece. Now, uh, let's see here. Now, uh, that guy there, he's blocking the way. But, uh, don't worry about having to, but don't worry about him yet. We'll, we'll be fine, we'll be getting to him shortly later. But first, by the way, uh, remember that plate, that thing up in the top right corner for now, for later at least. Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you now. Uh, you, uh, I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's not Gumbriel. Uh, it's not a laser goon. Um, um. Aha! I got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class. Well, yes, sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, Jr. at you, Goom. Go, Goombas! <laughs> yeah, basically, he's just like a bit of an old kook that knows a lot about lore. I love, I love this kook. <laughs> you know, the famous one? Oh, my apologies. I'm such a book group. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. I'm with you, frankly. I'm the same way. <laughs> We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Road Park. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, it would be you would, Professor Franklin. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very pr that very subject. <laughs> but why would we want to know? Well, simple. We happen to have the map on us and we want to find treasure and archaeological success and blah 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 blah. Like, you know... Science! <laughs> Of course, don't you know anything about science? What? Really? You, you actually have it. Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! I would have laughed if he said not and we had to find the real one. <laughs> and basically, just sort of like, now we have... And now he's gonna lead us to where the thousand year door is, essentially. So 
It's made of wood. Yeah. Okay, now he's gonna give us an option for a tutorial here. And uh, we don't want to do that, because I already know how everything works. Of course! Really a master, are you? Perhaps you ought to practice them just once. No. I'm good. Thank you very much, Professor, frankly. For I must be frank, no. Hmm. Okay. So, we want to head over this way. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. What's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? What's up, baby? Why don't you come hang? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what a fine looking good we're doing with a tubby mustache man like that. Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys, you make me feel like totally barfing. Now out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. What, you too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody sings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. Oh, boy. Gramella, you had to open your mouth. <laughs> Basically the full Goomba tree. Spiky Goombas, you can't jump on them until you get a badge later. Paragoombas, you can't you can't hammer them unless you get a first strike. Basically, it's just sort of teaching you, like, you know, a little bit of strategy. Now, um, we want to tattle the Goomba. Eh, let's see here, that's a Goomba. Yeah, I'm one of those, in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> it says here, Goombas are underlings of underlings. That's rude! Their HP is 2, attack 1, defense 0. Basically, it's your most basic enemy that you can encounter. Sort of like the slimes of this game. Ow! There we go. Might as well toddle that, that one right there. Right. Okay, there's a Paragoomba, a Goomba with wings. Same stats as the regular Goomba, but however, it can fly, meaning that we can't hit with our hammer until we get a later ability. And come on. Ah, I, get the, I keep getting the timing off of that. Okay, what I kept trying to do was a super guard. Basically, it's a spiky Goomba, HP 2, attack 2, defense 0. You can't jump on it, otherwise, it'll take damage. Anyways, uh, what I kept trying to do there was a super guard, which, which as you saw with the Paragoon, but I dealt a dam, I, I dealt a point of damage to it, and I negated all damage that would have been done to me. Basically, it's really useful if you if you're really good at the timing for it. Regular guarding gives you like about 30 frames, while the the normal, while the super guard gives you about three frames. For, for you to pull it off. So, let's go over here. And, uh, as a quick reminder, I'm gonna be cutting out all battles that we've already done before. Come on. Come on. Turn around! Turn around! There we go! Playing, playing hopscotch up in here. Okay, we got some more coin. Bonk. This is uh, the first example of an item that we have. That's a that's a mushroom heals HP. That's a fire flower that deals three damage to all enemies on screen. However, there are some there are some enemies that are immune to fire. There's enemies that are like there's all sorts of enemies like that. Okay, that's a character that, that's a boy that we'll remember for later. Ah, here it is. Okay. Now, what I just picked up there, that was called a, uh, what, is what did I, what was it called again? A pretty lucky badge. Oh, right. Gumbella needs to toddle this guy. New enemy! These are Spinias. A totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. HP 3, attack 1, defense 0. Super swift, but it's but it's rather weak. It's actually pretty easy to time the attack to, to time my opinion. As I'm used to as I'm used to enemies that attack by just charging straight towards you. Now that I know it, that I got there, that's a badge. We'll go into badges a little bit later. Alright, we're back. Okay, uh I wanna hit the switch. And then a page just sort of tears away. Ooh, staircases. 
Now, uh, before we go into that door, we want to come over here, drop down, up. Uh, be one sec. Freaking butterfingers. You know, I'll just fall, fall down this way. There. Grab the black key, and then go, and then go back up. Eh, eh, eh. Come on, come on, jump man. And then we want to go up to this chest here. Whoa! Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero legend. I don't buy it. Basically, these are these are black chests. And uh, just as a spoiler alert, they curse you. <laughs> I curse you. <laughs> but don't worry, it's a helpful curse. And besides, it's not like we can do anything else until until we do this. Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you! What, you think I was gonna help you? Yes, actually, because that's how this game works. Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've been during that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Boogaloo, boogaloo, woo! You're cursed! Ah, my eyes. Yes, I did get what I deserve. A way how to progress forward. Thank you ever so much. And essentially, this panel will glow, will glow, will, will glow yellow. And then you gotta tilt left and right to, in order to steer yourself. And uh, make sure that you don't mash the A button. <laughs> A very spoopy boy indeed. So, uh, wow. Just wow. What was that guy's beef? Well, I'd imagine being trapped in a godforsaken, in a godforsaken black chest, probably induced with a nightmare that made people go crazy. I imagine that wouldn't make your day very pleasant. I always get chills when I see this place. Cause it's like, it feels so ominous, yet majestic. Oh, Mario, Gamela, look at that! Wait, you you never figured out where it was and all this- Then again, I guess he never figured out- Then again, if he had the paper- gained, gained the ability to manipulate the paper like that, then I guess we wouldn't be playing this game. <laughs> Frankly, the Thousand Year Door, his side of the store, like, we just see him, like, spending most of the game just doing research stuff, like, do, like, research, research minigames, probably around the lines of Doki Doki Literature Club. And then it's like, oh, we'll have the occasional conversation with the, with the old kooks. Lucky, our first level's a castle. Where have I seen this before? <laughs> then again, I think that for uh, that for a Mario spin-off going for the RPG style, I suppose it's only natural that we go for our castle setting first. Quite fitting, actually. Quite nice. And we got and we gained our basically our first special move, Sweet Treat. It's a healing move that heals that automatically heals you from po from like negative statuses such as poison, and you also have the chance to. To regain stuff like your flower points and your and your eight and your heart points, flower points you do for your badges, which will get act, which will I'll show off shortly. At, shortly. So basically, sort of cutting back to where we were. <clears throat> Aha! I see. You understood it. You understand it, professor. Of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mari. By my reckoning, he can now perform what is known as a special move. <clears throat> no, even though that would actually help me regain all of my lost health, I'm not going to do that. Because, uh, basically we're going to be doing that shortly anyways with an upcoming surprise boss fight. Okay, basically he tells us as to where the next location is and how to get there. And don't worry, I'll, I'll be telling. Just follow, just follow my lead. <laughs> and 
And as it turns out, Princess Peach was here for a time, and she did ask frankly about the about the Crystal Stars before she got kidnapped. But uh, basically, at this point, at this point, the gang doesn't know if she's actually kidnapped or not. So they were kind of going on a, so we're kind of living on a prayer. <laughs> How does that song go, by the way? I'm gonna have to look that up later. So basically, we're just sort of like living on a prayer, sort of hoping that that she's actually there. Wait just a moment. They got the power smash. Hammer a single enemy using a lot of power. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> no, I'll go over that. No. Yeah, basically, bad news have a tendency to use up your flower points, and we're going to actually go ahead and equip both of these right now, as that's pretty useful for us to have. Pretty lucky, what that does is that if, is that when Mario's attack causes enemies to sometimes miss. I don't know the percentage on that, but I want to say that's like a 20% chance of happening. And for Power Smash, this uses 2 FP to use the attack. Basically, it lets you whack an enemy with, a, with great power. Basically, if we did that and we did the command right, our attack would go from 2 to 4. And if we had like a hammer upgrade, it would go from like from 4 to 6. It just does like plus 2. It's 10 coins to pass. I can take you. I'm not scared, even though I really should be. Alright, first, this is basically, now, uh, something I'm a bit sad to say for fans of the original Paper Mario. This is only one of two option- Scratch it, I'm sorry. Scratch that. One of three optional boss fights in this game. That's Gus, he's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. HP 20, attack 3, defense 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I've told you a million times, that point of spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass past 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Yeah, he's a bit- he's a strong boy, he's a buff boy. <laughs> Basically, what I just did there are stylish- dang it, Ugh, I screwed up. Okay, what I just did there are stylish moves. They, they earn you more star. They earn you more star point, or starring points in your star gauge, and it's rather useful. And... Yes, got it. B i n g o and bingo was his name. Oh, whenever you get a good, a positive bingo, your audience will fill up by about half. There we go. Got the timing. Now I just want to keep defending with Goombella. Because it's on because she can't attack him because her head bonk counts like a jump attack. That earns me just in general. Ooh, ooh, I had a feeling about that. <laughs> okay, sometimes when you do certain attacks, stage props will fall from the steep from the ceiling. Or the prop bah, to the side of us will fall. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna win in this next turn. Okay, something interesting about crowd members. They actually can affect the flow of battle themselves. Toads will have Toads have a tendency to give you good items as well as they give you more experience compared to other compared to other members of the audience. Goombas, they tend to give you just a little bit less experience and they have the occasional tendency to throw stuff at you. Um, piranha plants, they will occasionally eat members of the audience. They will occasionally eat members of the audience. Let's see here. Koopas, if they get startled, they will hide in their shells, and during that time, they will not give out any star point. Any, uh, any points to your star gauge. Let's see here. What else? What else can they do? What else is there? There's the, uh, there's the bulky bob bombs, which we run into later in the game. They take up two seats of the crowd. And if they and if they blow up, they'll take out like about half the, about half of the uh, what is that? What's the word I'm looking for? Half the audience with them. There's a there's another star piece for us right there, and uh, that's all the star pieces that we can get for the time being. We're going to get more along the. We're going to get more later in the game. Let's see here. Luigi can pop can pop up in this stage, and he gives you a lot of star. He can. He tends to give you a lot of star points, as well as he has the tendency to, uh, what was it? Darn it, I... He also has the tendency to give you good items, as well. That's sort of like a plus, that's sort of like a positive to him, in a sense. 
And then we want to fall down here just a little bit, wait for him to notice us, and bam! Okay, so basically where was I? Luigi has the tendency to give you a lot of star, a lot of points to your star gauge, as well as he has a tendency to throw you really good items. Let's see here, there are also a lot of other characters, so if I see them in the audience, I'll probably mention them at some point or another. Boss fight engage! <laughs> So I'm in a, in a for a world of hurt, huh? Um, I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to uh, I'm gonna put Goombella in the front, have her tattle, just in order to get this guy in the book. Because even though we'll actually get his bio regardless, because we can only fight him once. HP 12, attack 1, defense 0. The tentacles themselves have about three each. Okay, now, sweet treat. It just uses essentially the power that's in the map. Oh, I wanna get those. Now, uh, make sure that you try to avoid hitting the, the poison mushrooms. And I think I have about healed this all up. Yeah, per yeah, full heal. Okay. I'm pretty sure you can super guard these just like any other character. Just like any other enemy. I like to save my fire my fire flower for this. That way I can go ahead and get it, get the jump on him there, and then just do this. Yeah! Okay. I suppose just do it again. Try to get as many star points as I can. Okay. Anyways, these stylish moves that I've been doing recently, you do those by, by pressing the A button during specific points of animation. It's like a timing thing. And usually people will find out about stylish moves either by accident or around like half and usually around halfway through, usually around like halfway through the first, like, uh, around the, halfway through their first playthrough. For the longest time, the only one I actually knew about was the hammer one. <laughs> Chapter 1, Castle and Dragon. Well, here we are, the Petal Metals, where folks say the Crystal Star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario, the star of our adventure. This is a, this is completely awesome. Yeah, I mean, how hard can this be? Oh, joy. This is just lovely, isn't it? Whoa, what was that? Oh, is that a, wow, Mario, look. Totally incredible. I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. Weird. Professor Fairly said this place was peaceful. Eh, I mean, in comparison to just about everywhere else, this place is pretty peaceful. By the way, thing I forgot to mention, check every tree by hitting it with your hammer and check every bush. You'll, you'll, you'll usually find something by that way. Because star pieces are hidden everywhere. If it looks like as if something's out of your line of sight, then, then something might be there. And yeah, we're getting a lot of mushrooms right now. And oh boy, we're gonna be getting more of them. <laughs> I'd have to consider selling a few. Okay, now an enemy that we actually that we actually saw in the in the crowd this time around, it was a shy guy. Shy guys will occasionally, shy guys will occasionally jump onto the stage and mess with the back with the props in the back, and that will end up hitting either you or or, or the enemies. 
Now we're actually getting close to a level up. When the level up happens, I'm going to cut straight to to when the level to like to the towards the end of the battle to level up. But since this is just like two enemies right here, I'm just might as well show the full bat. I'm just might as well show this full battle here. No harm in it. Now, when you level up, there are three things you can choose to you can choose to level up. You can level up your HP, increase if you like your if you lack confidence and you like having a lot of damage to soak up. If you um, increase your FP or flower points, if you like to use a lot of moves, or increase your your badge points, it makes it it's great if you like to use badges. Honestly, in my opinion, and my tendency is to prefer upgrading these two over HP. And for the first chapter, you you honestly don't need to worry about upgrading your HP at all. It's completely doable, provided you don't do anything silly. <laughs> like, I don't know, fighting the boss without its weakness or something. Just saying. Anyways, uh, you want to whack this thing, I want to say, about seven or so times. Because when you do, you get a horse tail. Horse tails replenish 3 HP and is, an, and is an important cooking item. By the way, if you're wondering as to what I did to automatically go there, you press the Z button to pull up this screen here, and this shows you, like, you know, the auto commands to certain pages. So that's pretty neat. And uh, Goombella's gonna sort of, like, jump in here and tell you that if you don't know what to do, just talk to her. That's why I kind of meant by her being sort of like the guy. Something I suppose I should go ahead and mention is that is that uh, there are a couple of roulette wheels that you can get. The one that you saw earlier when I fought Gus, that was three flower points, which fully healed all of my FP. The other ones that you can get are three hearts. The other ones that are good that you can get are three hearts, or ugh, three mushrooms, which fully restores all your HP. Three stars, which give you, which fully restores all your star power and three shine sprites which fully heals everything. All the and all of them fill up half of half of your audience except for the uh except for three shine sprites which fully which fully uh, like you know fills up your entire audience. Now the uh, three poison mushrooms on the other hand, that's bad. It cuts your HP in half, it cuts your FP in half, round and and this is rounding down mind you. And it get it gets rid of like half your star power, rounding down again. <laughs> and worst of all, it gets rid of your entire audience. Your audience just runs. Like you have the plague. Basically, like you know, he mentions like, oh, there's this one guy that you can go check out. He lives in a pink house. But before we do any of that, I want to go into the store and basically sort of trade an item. Sort of trade, basically sell a store and buy a few items. Basically just might as well talk to him because this is your introduction to the shop right here. But you could have done that earlier in Rogue Uh, no, I don't need to hear it again. Excellent. Okay, now I can basically do whatever I want. Now what I want to do first is that I want to sell. Um, I want to sell the mid. Uh, sh it's not really going to be a profit to me. I'm going to. Might as well just sell the horse tail because I can get that whatever I want. I'm going to store. I'm going to store these mushrooms because we're going to get more later. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Now, something you want to go ahead and do is buy four courage shells, and then if you don't get an extra one on your way to the next location, then go ahead and pick, then pick up a fifth one. Okay, now, how am I inventory looking? Just about full, okay. Now, I want to store, you want to store those four, those courage shells for a side quest later. Okay, now the other thing you want to do is you want to buy, since I, is that, uh, since I have three here, I just need to buy two more, actually. And 
and uh, you want to buy a POW block. Now, uh, how's everything looking? Types. Or ABC. Yeah, that works. And, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good, because that will give me some space for some other items. Yes, it will. Though, barely. And... Might as well just keep the mystery in my inventory, then maybe use it on an enemy. By the way, in case you're curious, mysteries are completely random. It picks a random item for you. By the way, I kind of like this guy. Ah, oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. It is a beautiful day, no? No, 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 no. Not you, Monsieur Mustache. I am speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. What do you say, my pretty? Abandon this dullard and come away with more. Ew, are you kidding? Ew, nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a high bows on the dork. Oh, 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 sacre bleu. Such beautiful honesty. Such a sharp tongue. Well, I have trip for now to change your mind. Sherry, come find me. What a total sleaze. <laughs> Now, uh, this guy. This guy is General White. I'm a bob -um and I have lost my hopes and dreams. I could play the song for you if you'd like. Buzzing! <laughs> I live in solitude, always. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. This guy here, this guy right here, he's gonna be important. Remember him from late, for later. And for anyone wondering, yes, I actually like that side quest. By the way, if you check these leaves over here, you'll get something called a turtle leaf. Since my inventory is so full, I'm not gonna do that. Actually, I might actually need... Yeah, I might actually end up needing it for later, maybe. Basically, he thinks that we're thieves. And then, you know, we reveal to him that, you know, we're gonna go after the... We're going after the Crystal Stars and we're gonna take down Hooktail. Of course, we know about Hooktail, or at least I know him. We're gonna fight him. And honestly, we can say that we want to or we didn't say that, but it doesn't matter. Because we're not technically gonna get anything from him anyways. It's Mario. <laughs> and he has a tendency to call us Murphy. <laughs> For the matter. Now. Basically, just talk to this guy. He'll let us through the and he'll let us through the gate. Um, excuse me, er, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, how to begin? But my name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hotel's castle. So anyway, I uh, I have a favor to ask. Well. Um, oh, just, just forget it. For, never mind. Ignore me. G goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think all that was all about? Talk about issues. <laughs> Camilla, you're a jerk. Anyways, uh, guys, we're going to end that right here for the time being. Next time, we're going to be going into Schwank Forest. See you guys then.